What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Jax. Quick update for Bitcoin. Uh, the stop loss hunt that I just dropped in the Discord and talked about in the gala video played out to perfection. Currently sitting at 21.1K, down 0.8 on the day. Seeing a mark cap up 404. Baby. 24 hour volume, 24.61 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to Bitcoin, make sure to sign up, grab your bonuses. Check out my full link tutorial, it's in the description. And uh, email me your sign up email, free access to over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. So I posted in the Discord that um, this very well may be a stop loss hunt to stop out the shorts before pushing down. As you can see right here, this could be a stop loss hunt. Nice little stop loss hunt now looking for Bitcoin to pull back into the yellow box. So that's what happened. They push up the price, liquidate the shorts, and then the sell off starts. So we're starting to break down. So we're looking for a wave four pullback in between 18.6 and 20.1K. Usually a wave four will pull back between the 0.382 at 19.2K and the 236 with a maximum retracement of the 50% level. Um, so that may be a good area to look for a long position in a wave four. We already wicked above the invalidation point of this wave one, potential one, two. So this bearish setup of coming down in a one and this being a wave two which is here in yellow is now finished it's been invalidated it, it wicked higher so that means that the highest likelihood now in my opinion is that we are going to come down in a wave four see continuation up push up in that wave one and potentially pull back in a wave two and the bottom could be in i'm hoping that the wave two retracement is deep so i can load up on my um all coin huddle positions but we'll have to see how that plays out um, if we break 18.6, then yes, there is potential of seeing continuation to the downside, but we have broken that invalidation point so we can focus on the bullish scenario of bouncing off the wave four pullback zone and then pushing up in the wave five. I'll probably t look to take a long on either Bitcoin or Matic when we do see this pullback, depending on the price action. As you can see with this chart here, we broke the invalidation point. This was the ending diagonal. So we no longer need to focus on this chart pattern because it broke above the wave too high. All right, gang. Um, as I've been mentioning, we're overextended. We need to pull back to the EMAs. And I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. Pull back to the EMAs, have them catch up, hold them as support and bounce and see continuation to the upside. That's what I think is the highest probabil probability. Anything can happen in the crypto space. So just keep that in mind, all right, gang? So we're starting to break down. Technical target of this rising wedge is the bottom of the wedge at about 20.3K, but I would expect you to at least come down to 20.1 or 19.2K for the price of Bitcoin. All right, gang, make sure to sign up to BitGit, grab those bonuses, email me your sign up email, and I'll give you completely free access to my Discord of over 2,000 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto at the 10 USD membership, early access to my analysis, as well as signals, which can be very helpful in your training journey. All types of crypto news I've started to post as well. You can see how the members are doing with their own trades, how, see what I'm doing with my Hotel All Plays. It's the same price as a Netflix subscription, about 10 USD per month. Sign up through the Patreon link, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna go to the gym now and work on my gains. All right, much love, take care.